Morning, crew. Uh, yeah, that's uh, had a pretty good night's sleep in the hammock as I always do. So just after eight, actually. Um, so I slept in pretty well. So I've got up, I've got my fire going, and uh, my pot there. So we're gonna just have some porridge and a coffee, kick things into life, and uh, and then we'll hit the river. But it's supposed to be overcast and then fine this afternoon, which, um, yeah, by the gloomy conditions, it's a bit overcast. It'll make spotting a bit hard first thing this morning, but oh, we'll take it nice and slow. We've got all day, and we'll get a result, I hope. Oh well crew, we're on our way, <coughs> oh there we go, wet feet already, um, so I'll head downstream a wee bit, <coughs> not very far, just a little bit, just to give that uh, sun a bit, a bit more time to get up a bit higher, maybe brighten things up through the, through the cloud, so it's a, uh, makes vision, seeing the fish a bit easier, but there uh, should be some reasonable visibility if I come up against some trees or high banks or cliffs but it is quite an open river so it could be difficult spotting to begin with but I'm sure we'll find something fish right in the shallows here see what happens here Problem is, I'm following footprints that look very fresh. And with that fish sitting right in the shallows like he was. Oh, bugger. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, he's still there. I don't think he's going to take that dry. Put a nymph on, I think. Oh, big stone fly. We'll see what happens. See if that ignites any interest. Nope, oh, I'd say that is a sitter. I'd say he's been caught. Bugger. We're in. Well, that one come up for the dry. Um, just blind fishing a run. Oh man, it's got some toe. And because of the way it feels, I've got a horrible feeling. I might have fell, fell off it. Bugger. Oh yeah, I can't seem to stop it. I think I foul hooked it. I really want to have to ping this first fish, but... Oh, bugger. Oh man. I'll pause it, and if I get him, we, get, we might be able to get him and have a look at him. Or her. Oh yeah, it's a fat hen fish. Look at that. Oh yeah. A little bit unorthodox that one. So yeah, but I managed to get her. So she's four and a half pounds, isn't she? Lovely, lovely brownie. Did come up for the dry, but I obviously missed her or she spat the hook. And the dropper nymph snagged her in the fins. So not entirely a legal catch, but we'll take her. Well, that one, I didn't see it till I was right beside it. It came from the fast water, and Big stone flight. <clears throat> so 
Looks like another hen fish. I've been playing it for quite some time. I'm hoping I've nearly got a beat. Let me get a head up. There we go. <laughs> Swims into the net for me. Great. Clonking good brand. Six pound hen. Bloody epic fight. Thank you very much, my dear. She's a little black spot on her nose. But um, lovely deep fish. Heavy. Beautiful. That's it, day done team. Not much to show there, was there? I, uh, yeah, I followed a set of, a couple of sets of prints all the way up, so pretty, pretty recent, but, uh, huh, two fish, two fish that were feeding, and, um, otherwise I just didn't see any fish. The pools were empty, or they were obviously out hiding in the, and the faster stuff so it's a bit of a shame so with that in mind I'm thinking tomorrow I was gonna walk downstream and fish up but I would say that could be a bit buggered as well so what I might do is <laughs> uplift camp and head for a different area that's it I'm on the bike again Packed up camp, I've left. It's now just gone 5.30, so oh, it'll be 6.30 maybe when I get to the truck and then I'll go and find somewhere to camp, so I'm not sure what I'll do tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be more fruitful than today. So I'll camp somewhere where I can get some signal, check some river flows out, and weather conditions and uh, make a plan from there so yeah Whew. yep got him off the top on the dry so yeah I've come to another location which I didn't want to get here until later in the week but because of today I'm a day early which is kind of a good thing it's late evening or early evening I should say um, but uh, I think it's going to rain here tomorrow, so anyhow, it's a lovely looking brown, came off the bottom, took the big dry, I thought they'd be coming up here if they hadn't been bothered today because of the cicadas are just going nuts, so we might even get another one out of this eye, it's a lovely looking eye, lovely big eye. Got him. Cracker. Good stuff. Oh, four and a half pound. Beautiful Jack. Beauty. He's just a gorgeous, gorgeous brownie. Look at him, eh? How's that? Off the top. Big deer here, dry. just blind fishing this run here so I didn't have the camera going but he leapt little fish leapt right out of the water to take the big dry great well that's two fish in blimmin five minutes of being here whereas I only got two fish today the whole day up that other valley so yeah stuff oh, this looks like a lovely little fish Oh, that last hook, fish pulled the, that last fish pulled the hook, so 
I'm up to a lovely run here, so I'm hoping I'll be able to spot them out there. There's a bit of a downstream wind, and punching these big flies into the wind is a little difficult. So hopefully I'll spot something shortly, or I might, I'll have to have some blind cast and just see how we go. Yeah, well, no more fish after uh, that one, the hook pulled. Uh, I fished quite a ways and I found a little side feeder stream running in and I went up that and eventually found the road and walked back to the ute. But yeah, no good after that. Um, I thought the fish, you know, would be looking up and grabbing the cicadas any chance they, they got. But uh, one fish, big snout, came out and nosed my fly. Uh, where that creek ran in that I just mentioned. So, yeah, it's uh, quarter past eight. So, I'm gonna find somewhere to camp, cook myself some tea and hit the hay. So, yeah, I'll catch up with you, perhaps at the camp, if not, tomorrow. <laughs>